Hello, welcome to the show. Uh, I'm gonna make this one on insurance. Um, insurance, or well, just the cost of insurance in the industry. I got a little, I got a little, um, a little bit of info about it, but for the general, it is, it's expensive. Um, you want it you want as a as a motor carrier you want to be safe and that's what the you know safe so you can pay less in insurance and i imagine i went to a uh, chicken coop and i passed by the and i asked the highway patrol officer what's um he looked up the safety score for heartland express and and they have a very low, so the lower the better. I, I'm not sure. He didn't tell me a number. I think I went on Safer to look at it, but it's it's very low. Like, uh, Harlan Express is a very safe company, a very safe organization. And I remember working with my brother and then working for another small owner-operator. They were they were pretty high. They were like 80, 70, 80, 90, 99. You're they're gonna take your things away. You're gonna, they're gonna, re, you know, shut it down. They shut down your, your show. And plus, if it's if it's high, you have to pay more in insurance because you're not a safe driver. You're more risky, and it's all a insurance game. And it's all uh, insurance. Insurance is kind of wicked. Nobody really likes insurance companies because they take and they don't give it back, right? And that wasn't that a joke on someone? It was, um, I think, Chris Rock. Chris Rock said if all these insurance companies, if, if I don't have an accident all year, shouldn't we be getting that money back or something? And it was funny because it's, you know, there's truth to that. Um, so, yeah, having a little... And, and so you're... I imagine the... the Harlan Express is paying probably, I don't know, I, I, I'm just a driver, so I'm just, this is a wild shot in the dark, like seven to eight hundred dollars, seven to nine hundred dollars per truck, and um, that's just a wild guess though, because I think it was like a thousand for my brother, a thousand two hundred or something, but, um, but yeah, that's, um, I think that's all. Oh, I have pretty much a share about that insurance. Um, that'd be cool if um, that entire industry got re-looked at, because a bunch of industries are are twisted and wicked, and that that must be one of them. Um, because any industry with money has money as power. And then power corrupts. And then when you have absolute power, it corrupts absolutely. So, pharmaceutical, big oil, big pharma, big agro, big agriculture, they're all probably, you know, that's what is like resetting in this. The system is resetting. Um, like it probably did back in the 19, was it the, the Great Recession? Or the 1930s, 30. 133 or something the Great Depression that's what was happening probably new industries were old industries were collapsing new industries were coming alive um, and that's the same thing that's kind of everything re there's nothing new under the sun it's just it's repeating itself um, if you look at it it's a transition and there's books probably on that but I'm just I haven't read them They're probably good probably important to read but it's a transition of all that a lot of wealth a lot of power a lot of money is just transitioning to other people's hands um, and those hands are could be good or could be bad um, but yeah um, thanks for listening it's Friday have a nice weekend and um, keep on trucking thank you